Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, retrofit your GMC Denali headlights with uh, some bi-xenon projectors. These are the uh, Morimoto Mini H1 projectors from the retrofit source. As you can see they have the little uh, cutoff plate that flips out of the way here. Pigtails. Um, you're going to need the, uh, the H1 bulbs as well. Not typical plug-and-play H1 conversion bulbs. <clears throat> These will hook up to uh, any generic ballast. So if you're already running HIDs, you do not need to buy new ballasts. You can uh, choose whichever color you like. I personally went with 5000K. If uh, you like the ricer look, you can go with 8000K. If you like the OEM look, you can go with 4300K. Um, when you get your Denali headlights, you're going to notice that you have two harnesses like these already on the headlights. And these are actually connected to the low beam bulbs, the halogens that they have in the uh, factory projectors. Hang on to those. You're also going to need these. These come with the projectors from the retrofit source. And uh, what these are going to allow you to do is go from these harnesses to these pigtails from your, for your high beams. You'll see what we're going to do later. And uh, another thing you'll need, or make the job a lot easier, is uh, are these adapter plates from uh, CustomGM.com. We have uh, a member over there who's uh, making these. <clears throat> so I'll get the tools out and we'll get the job started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, making the harnesses for the, uh, the bi-xenon control. Now there's two different ways you can go about this. You can use scotch locks, which is the quick and easy way. Or you can go the more time consuming but uh, more reliable route in my opinion by actually soldering them together and using uh, shrink wrap or heat shrink or whatever you want to call it. That's the way we're going to go about that today. matching harnesses. That's that. That's all the soldering you need to do. Alright, so I've got one headlight already retrofitted. It's back on the truck. Next I'm going to do this headlight here. Step one is to uh, disassemble the light. You're going to need a uh, 7 30 seconds socket. That wasn't good. Try not to do that in the future. Two bolts right here. Ten millimeter deep socket. So that's the mounting bracket for the headlight. Just set that aside. T20. These three screws right here. Pop the projector bowl off of the rubber gasket. Try not to pinch your fingers when you're doing that. So this. Ooh. 
You can just set that aside for now. With your uh, 730 seconds again, there's four bolts around here holding the uh, the lens and the <clears throat> and the front half of the projector in. Go to uh, unbolt that. Set that aside. Here's the cutoff plate from the Denali. And the fun part now. Okay, so you're going to need your T25 here for these two bolts. Unbolt your projector. This is the reflector bowl, actually. Actually, that came off a lot easier than I was expecting it to. <clears throat> so, this is where the new Morimoto is going to be sitting. As you can see, if you compare these two here, it's a direct bolt on fit. Comparison of the two projectors. So you can see this is a clear lens. <clears throat> so we'll set this aside for a little bit. Now, uh, I went out today and I bought some uh, number six stainless steel machine screws and nuts. You don't have to use stainless steel. Uh, I do use the truck during the winter and here in Northern Ontario we have uh, a lot of road salt so I don't want the hardware getting rusty in case I have to take this apart in the future. I don't have any lock nuts so uh, what I'll be using is red Loctite, or a thread locker. I do have name brand Loctite, so... Just a little shot on the threads is all you need. Now the aluminum plate it does bend a little bit, so you can't over tighten these uh, these screws. But that's why we have the red Loctite. So now what you'll need is silicone sealant. Take the projector mount, and you're going to run a bead, actually before you even do that, take your 7.30 seconds again, get this out of the way. Right, so the next step, once you put your sealant around your plastic mount, is to uh, put the projector in. Now we still have to seal around the edge of the projector itself. So take a Q-tip, your silicone, and just run it along the bead here. The 
or a paintbrush. All you want to do is seal up that seam. There. So now we can start reassembling. Start by putting the adjustment screw back in. This can now go back in the headlight. Line everything up all nice. Use the right screws. A little momentary lapse and focus there. Mounting bracket. Now as far as these uh, pigtail connectors, pull out the little kit that came with the projectors, you'll need this plug, and there's two little rubber grommets here, and you'll also need this little silicone o-ring. The rest of these, the rest of this stuff is uh, Use for other retrofits where you have to cut the headlight open, and <clears throat> and they're for headlights that were not originally projector headlights. Put them in here like this, like so. The little harness that we made at the beginning of the video. Just line this up and note which, with the clip here, note which side is the, the black wire. Now there's a little hole right here. Take this plug run it through here <clears throat> now another thing you have to do is take a little pair of side cutters like this and if you look inside there's a little tab a little plastic tab that is going to have to come out so that you can connect them to the 9006 male connector These little adapters are actually meant for halogen bulbs to go from a 9005 male adapter, male plug, to a 9006 bulb. Connect everything together. Find your other H1 bulb, which I have way too much shit on this workbench.
lift up the retainer. Your little silicone o-ring. There. Again, run the plugs down through this little hole. This makes it easier to put the headlight in. Now it's time to put the light back on the truck.